<laughs> Do you like my socks? Check out my glorious my glorious game design. <laughs> Hibby tanks. That sounds like like hibby bombs. Hibby tanks. Hello my fellow gangsters. So I've been wanting to do a menus and UI tutorial. And someone requested that I could do a tutorial on making tanks, which is like like a 2D tanks game, like that old school tanks game. Like you would have like a an aimer button thing in the menus and like you could have like a power bar slider thing that fills up and stuff. So it could all be like buttons in the menu screen. So I could sort of combine doing a tanks game with doing a UI tutorial. But I don't know how to do the deformable terrain. So I think I'm gonna do like just blocks, like just bricks. There's asset packs where you can buy deformable terrain destruction stuff, but I think I'm gonna do like just all the basics of like how to control the tank with menu screens and aim and maybe drive around a little bit and shoot at other tanks. I came up with some uh, pretty amazing programmer art concept art. <laughs> And then I can do like multiple tutorials with it. So part one would be UI stuff. How to like upgrade your tank and, and have it so that it'll save. And then maybe I can figure out multiplayer too. So maybe I can do a whole bunch of stuff in the same tutorial or in the same game. And that'll be pretty sweet. I hope you love my beautiful concept art. <laughs> so Unity's Unity has announced that they're going to have new pricing and a lot of people are really pissed off because I guess the pro version is going to be subscription only $125 a month and it used to be $75 a month but most people would buy a perpetual plan where they only like they buy like Unity 4 and they get all the updates for Unity 4 and then Unity 5 is like an upgrade with a discounted upgrade price of like $750 and that lasts like two years. So I think most people were paying about $35 a month and now it's $125 a month. And then they've introduced a new pro ver or a new plus version. It's like $35 a month, which would be good for the pro version. I think the pro and it doesn't seem to have any features. It has like the dark skin for the this interface or whatever of Unity, but you still have the splash screen, which seems to be the only thing most people care about. So, I think the problem... Oh, I think it's... Check it out, this is Kelowna. Really small town. Super tiny town. So I think the problem is that because Unity is free for like 90% of the users, then the pro buyers are subsidizing all the free users. So if Uni Unity was like Netflix price, like $7.99 or something, then it could probably be pretty cheap for the pro version. But since it's free, I don't know, they're kind of screwed. I think they should, uh, I think they should probably, they could do the new price, but then they should have a discount for people that are long-term buyers, like a, like a loyalty discount, and then it would be all right. Because right now, if you're going from $35 to $125, that's ridiculous. If it was like $125 for the first year, and then if you keep your subscription going and it dropped down to like half, that would be all right. And they have added a lot of new features. I've been testing the collaborate feature, which is awesome. They, like using version control or source control, for me anyways, it's confusing as hell and I hate, like I just freaking hate using like Perforce or whatever. So Collaborate is amazing because it just like syncs. It's like you're working on a project in the cloud and it's like, I think that's even worth paying for. I think they're giving away too much free stuff. I'm kind of on Unity's side even though people are pissed. What do you guys think 
uh, Unity should do for their pricing thing. Because they do have to pay for all the services they've made and everything. So they, they are underpriced and they are subsidizing a lot of free players. But they probably have to keep free because Unreal is free. But Unreal has a like 5% or something. You have to give them like royalties on your games. No matter like if you make over $3,000. Whereas Unity, it's free until you make $100,000. I've been working on the cart game. Redhead Robot gave me some pretty sweet art now. But all we have is an oval track. We have like a really pretty oval track. Just an oval track. So we still need to work on that. Some feedback from people's comments was that the menus suck. I need to make better menus. So we're going to try just buying on the asset store some nice menu art and integrating that in. Unite Europe kind of sucked so far. They haven't released any of the talk videos yet, but the announcement video of just 500% increase in price was a pretty crappy Unite. So I'm looking forward to E3. Apparently there's going to be like a PlayStation 4.5 or 5K or like they're going to make it work with VR but it'll still be the same games so that the PlayStation 4 doesn't have to be replaced yet. And it sounds like Microsoft's doing the same thing, like another like a half console upgrade. But it sounds like they're going to have new video card and all this stuff. I don't know what they're doing. I still haven't bought a PS4. I really want to play Uncharted. I'm too broke though. Once I'm rich, once I release the cart game and I'm rich, I'm going to buy a PS4 and Uncharted 4 and eat candy and play Uncharted for like 48 hours straight and it's going to be awesome. Oh, and I should talk about VR. If you're going to get a VR headset, go with the Vive. It's better than the Oculus. And also, Oculus kind of suck. Like the people that work at Oculus are jerks. I backed their Kickstarter and they promised me a free edition or whatever and they never gave it to me. They, they did that like Kickstarter edition and I, I didn't get the email until like a, like a couple weeks late, like two weeks late or something. So I didn't know about it. And then when I emailed them and was like, hey, can I still get this? Because I backed the original Kickstarter. They're just like, no, we don't care, screw you. Not in those words, but basically they didn't give a crap. So if you ever have a problem with Oculus, they are not going to help you. Not even the people that backed them from the beginning. So Oculus suck. And they're owned by Facebook. And they're doing some kind of like DRM thing so that their games can't be played on the Vive. Meanwhile, the Vive has more features. It has that like, you can walk around the room and it knows how far you are in the room and stuff. Like, like it'll detect the boundary of before you walk into a couch or something. Whereas with Oculus, you just have to sit in your seat. So it's actually, the Vive is technically a better thing. And it's made by Valve, who's a better company. And they didn't personally offend me by refusing to give me their kit, even though I backed them and they said that they would give me one. So Oculus sucks, dudes. Don't buy an Oculus. If, if you already got one, oh well. But if you have the choice and you're one of the people that can afford to get one, go with the Vive all the way. I fully endorse the Vive. <laughs> If I make a game, it's going to work on the Vive. Like, if I make a VR game, it's going to work on the Vive, and I don't care about the Oculus. They can just go to hell. But yeah, so what are you guys looking forward to on E3? I hope I'm not shaking the camera so much. This is the first time I've walked around with a camera and recorded my face. I've never done this before. I'm like hoping that no people show up, so that because I don't want to talk in front of them. <laughs> but I usually go for a morning hike to get my brain working before I do coding all day. So I'm working on trying to figure out that tutorial and then I'm also doing the cart game and I'm also doing about a couple secret projects that I can't talk about and then contract work. So I'm, do I'm doing like seven projects at the same time. So I'm sorry if I like take a really long time to do a tutorial. That's why I think it might be good if I record sort of like update stuff once in a while. And I'll show the progress and I'll show my absolutely glorious concept art and stuff that I'm sort of planning to use for a tutorial. But you guys got to make your own art, because that my, my art is programmer art, and it looks like ridiculous, so, yeah. Anyway, peace out, guys.